Hi guys and welcome to yet another video exciting Adobe Illustrator tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to make this cool logo design. So let's get started. Go to file, new and I am going to select 1280 by 720 but you can select any aspect ratio. Great. Now let's come to the rectangular tool. Select the rounded rectangular tool. Bring it to center. Hold down shift plus alt to make it even proportions like this and select your selection tool change the fill color to dark gray and remove the stroke if you want to keep the stroke it's your choice if you are going for that sort of you know look now hold down the alt key and make another copy of it or drag your box and make the color of this one light gray and now select the rectangular tool without the rounded edges and make a small round square in the middle of it and now make sure that it is in the middle by going to the align panel and bringing it into the middle like this it was already in the align go to pathfinder and cut it Cut all of it. We are going to use it. Go to edit, copy, and paste in front. We are going to make another copy of it. Now bring our square back to the position where it was and make sure that it is aligned, its outer line to the line of this little square. If it is not, adjust it with the arrow keys on the keyboard like this okay once that's done zoom out adjust the workspace area bring the square to the front by right clicking on it and uh, arrange bring to front like this once it's done, select the one copy that you made in again and now go to Pathfinder panel again and cut it from it. So now we have a small squid like this and a big one on the other side which is beneath it. Change the color of one of them of course so it will be easily distinguished in the future like so. Okay. Now once you've done this, now make a little square at the bottom of it. Let me turn this off. Okay, like this. It does not require any exact portions, just make it. You're just gonna cut the original one by it, zoom in and fix it to the little rectangular like that. Okay, once it's done, select them both and then go to Pathfinder tool again. And cut them like this. So now we have this one design over here, which is this one. Okay, once you have done this sort of selection and made a shape of this form, now make another copy of it by going into edit copy and then copy in front of course you can drag it out with holding the alt key but i just wanted to show you that i made a copy of it now turn it around or rotate it and fix it into the square like this once you have done this one then do the same for the rest and make two more bring one down here do the same process rotate it and fix it to its position like this make another copy once they are done now the process of coloring and beautifying can start 
you do not need to arrange them or bring them forward at this point you can of course do that later on I just did a little okay now we are going to make a gradient color to apply to all of these you know shapes to do that I'm gonna make a gradient color at the side of our work area so that you guys can see which colors I'm applying and how I created that gradient make a little square like this you do not need to edit it I am just trying to show it to you okay actually I should directly make the color into the gradient I should not okay cancel this should go to gradient and in here the colors should be made once you have made the gradient uh, square select the gradient and then choose on one side black color and on the other side choose the color that you want I want this orange color but you can choose any color you are not limited by the choices of color like this let's adjust this or bring the orange to be a little bit more dominant like so and now selection tool selected select your shapes and go to the eyedropper tool and click on the gradient that you just created like so okay once they are done we are going to adjust these gradients to do that go, go and select the gradient, gradient tool and then drag a line like so first you have to select the object of course like so so the gradient starts from top to bottom and this one from left to right you don't want it from right to left like this so it gives the appearance or the illusion that the shadows are on that side that the ribbons are on top of each other and this one from bottom to top so like this you can adjust the colors of your gradient once they are done now we are going to rotate it of course you can leave it like this but i like to rotate it and make it another shape and I, as you can see i am so lousy in rotating this logo design okay once that is done now make a square uh, actually ellipse and we are going to remove its colors and on one side we just want to remove its opacity to zero make it total white make it radial also and the other side pure black and bring the white to the one side like so and bring the black to the other so that the black is in the middle of it so once the black is up here in the middle squash the ellipse like this we're gonna use this as the shadow of our shape that we have created now it depends on you that how far or uh, above the ground that you want the appearance to give that your object is for example i want to give the appearance that my object is relatively close to the ground so I'm gonna bring the shadow close to it but of course you can leave it at a distance and that would appear that the object is little upper from the crown you can find it with the arrow keys if your shadow is of course not aligned 100% you can use the align panel also for this purpose okay once that is done we are now going to make the background uh, of course reduce the opacity of it to 80 just type in 80 percent that is much more easier than manually doing it we're gonna make a square that fits our square area drag it from one corner to the other corner like so okay once that's done now we are going to apply a gradient to it I already created a gradient for the ellipse or the shadow of the object logo 
so I um, can use that but of course you can use this easily or make this easily by making a radial gradient and making one side of it like actually I'm gonna go for a little darkish gray color not so much gray I think this area works okay but of course you can give it a color gradient or any sort of background that you want to use and I'm also going to you know send it to the back now like so this shadow is giving me a little bit of trouble of course you can find you it a lot uh, you are not limited to the top first of all let me adjust the darkness or the color of the background now it looks much more better and the shadow is a little bit it's white area is uh, showing up like yes radiating a color but it does not matter that much of course you can remove the shadow altogether or you can keep on working on it the dumb guy that i am i have forgotten how i did it while i was making the logo so i hope you guys can figure that out on your own and if you uh, the logo techniques that are used i want you to remember that and apply it to your own designs you do not need to make the exact sort of logo that i have created of course you can make it but you do not need to you can just make another one or any color and make new modifications and i would really like to see which sort of modification and logos that you guys come up with and put the links in the comment section and i would like to check them out and we will discuss how you guys have done it and learned it i think our logo is looking great now i think i'm gonna end the tutorial at this point